Today we're going to take a look at the Bay Yang's Toys X-15. And here it is, right here. This is the little brother, or the brushed version of the X-16. It's the exact same quad. It just has the brush motors in it instead of the uh, brushless motors. So I'm sure it's not going to be as good. And I don't think the camera works either because I tried it at the house and it didn't do anything. There's a card in there. If it works, you'll see some video at the end. If it don't, you won't. Here's the transmitter. Here's for photo. There's for video. There's for headless. Take off landing button here. Flips high and low speed. It's pretty self-explanatory. Not a lot to it. Let's give it a shot and see how it acts. It's drifting a little bit. There's a little bit of wind, not much, so. Put the high rate on. Flying pretty nice. It's a little wonky. I'll put the flight time in the video. The battery was charged. I charged it all the way before I left. Like I said, I don't think the camera works. You know, it's one of these typical altitude hold quads that as soon as you start giving it any pitch, it loses altitude. You know, they all do this. Got some damn bee crawling up my shirt here. Hold on a second. <laughs> Check the yaw out here in a second if I can get it to stop drifting. Which you never will, but you can always try. Because <laughs> the wind's going to keep taking that sucker.
Oh, the wind's kicking up. Just give it a second. I mean, it flies okay. You know, it, it reminds me... It flies like that uh, Pro Mark Warrior, you know, C-Max 8. You know, those types. The K-70 with MJXs of this size. They, they all fly about the same. They're all pretty close to being the same quad. I mean, it handles pretty nice. You can see how the the pitch on it is. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's nowhere fast as the X-16, but, I mean, <laughs> who didn't know that? That was the all speed. You saw how slow it was, right? Okay, so. See, the wind is blowing right in my face, so as I push it out there into the field, you see it starts to lose altitude because as the pitch is going forward, um, the air is pushing it down. I mean, it wasn't that expensive. This thing was only like 58 I think it was $58 on eBay. So, I mean, it's okay. It flies nice. I mean, $58. What do you want? It said on the box, oh, this is the enhanced version. I, don't, I have no idea what the hell they're talking about with the enhancing. <laughs> I don't know what the enhancements are. It's lift speed is pretty good though. I was, I'm pretty happy with that. The punch speed is pretty good. The descending speed is real slow. It comes down real slow. But the takeoff speed is real good. Okay, let's I'll see how the if the headless mode works. Let me put it out here a little bit. Of course, you know you're going to get that beep. Well, it didn't work, so maybe I should just set it down here. I'll set it down here, reset the gyro, and put the headless mode on. We'll see if we can get it to work. Okay. Okay, so the headless mode's working now. You gotta set it, you know, kill it and reset the gyros to get it to work. Isn't 
Wouldn't that beep annoying as hell? Let me put that shit in there. They should just put it a, a couple of beeps. Or a beep every 15 seconds or something. Just to remind you that that's on. That constant beeping. That's about as annoying as shit. Okay, let's kill that. That's in the thick of making my teeth rattle. Okay, the lights are flashing on there. I didn't see anything in the manual about a low voltage, but I'm suspecting that uh, that's what this is. So, we'll see. I'm just going to let it sit here for a minute. But actually, I mean... For the money, this thing isn't that bad. I mean, 58 bucks. I mean, it flies nice. It, it, it's just like one. Of, like I said, it's like one of them C Max eights or that K Dang thing. You know, one of those type of deals. But it's okay. I mean, it seems to fly okay. I mean, I think it was worth 58 bucks, and it looks cool too. You can pretend that you got a Phantom. Because that's what it looks like. If you take that little fake satellite dish off. <laughs> they have that on the other one too. The wind's really blowing. It's trying to blow this shit down. It's back into my face here. Okay, there it goes. Okay. And it landed... Uh, no problem. It didn't uh, tip over or anything like that. So, all right. This is the typhoon. Yeah, 58 bucks. I'd buy it again for 58 bucks. It handled real nice. There was a pretty stiff wind in my face, so I mean, it was dancing around a little bit, but it uh, it handled real nice. I didn't uh, see uh, that, that many issues with it, other than that damn annoying ass beep with the uh, the headless mode, which is ugh. SEMA. Their quads don't do that anymore. They just do the uh, a couple. Of, they do like three beeps to let you know that you're put it in there, and then they um, it shuts off. I mean, geez. All right, guys. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.